Hello, everyone, we're homeless. Welcome back to Super Robot Wars 30. So, what are we doing here again? I'm not sure. It's certainly not near any battlefields I'm aware of. If we can have your attention for a moment, Chief Maybe will now explain. Maybe. Uh, yep, I'm the one that recommended this destination to the captain. Please don't tell me you're getting into rope until one of your obsessions. Oh, don't worry. I promise it will be worth the precious time of the dry cruise. Champions of the world in its time of peril. Well, what do you know about ancient civilizations? They're really ancient? Take a guess. I mean, the kind that died out, right? Novels and shows and stuff, too, that you have technology way more advanced than what we have today. We're not talking fiction here. The number of such ruins of such civilizations actually exists in real life. Are you saying something like that is here? Precisely. There used to be a lot more into this sort of thing, and I even did some independent research of my own. Now that we're conveniently on an official world trip, I asked the captain if we could humor some of my hunches. So we are out here chasing your hobbies. Not at all, I could turn up some interesting tech. Or maybe even some usable parts. That means it'll improve our far power and help us fight for peace, liberty, and the good stuff. I'd say that's worth looking into. Alright, fine, we'll join your little digs. Relic of the Hunter. Based on Chief Mavy's analysis, it should be around here. Unknowns detected. There's these guys. Those unknowns are here now, too. That's a sure sign that there's something here. Based on their formation, the forwards are defending the one in the rear. So you're saying. We can assume that the rear unit is holding position on our target. Captain, the recon team is moving in a squad of three. Not gonna get very far in there. I guess the force are just the use that don't reach the target. Well, uh, now we give up the relic for good. Let's get the recon team past those enemies and up to the target point. All units, we're taking that relic. Break through that information, neutralize the rear unit, and assume control of the target location. We only have three minutes. After that, we'll cut our losses and retreat. Remember, your mission is not only to get past the rear unit, but to claim the point itself. Good luck out there. I'll carry out my analysis in the meantime. Here's me thinking Gal Gaigo didn't need a weapon upgrade. Stoke, 
I knew this mission was on a time limit, I would pick a different team. I'm 
Good work team, now since the object located at this point is complete, and nailed it, this is going to come in handy. Now I've done some poking around, it looks like there might be some more technically the Ulamba sector in the level 4 cluster. Captain, you would know if we made a stop there the next time we have a chance? Of course, anything that will help the dry cruise. When the time comes, I'll be counting on you again team. Oh man, these relics are everywhere. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to poke around at. Gotta go straight to the... ...though and do this. This one, yeah. Yep, that'll be a good one. Louis Uncle, San Francisco office. It's been quite some time, Captain Pride. Yes, we've spoken over comms a number of first, a number of times. But I believe this is the first time we've met in person. Thank you for looking after my wife and son in New Hong Kong. No, I should think the egg and egg, <laughs> egg, and Caraba for protecting New Hong Kong back then. I suppose that was the start of our working relationship, and we're still working together now. My younger sister Michelle is part of that. The narrative Gundam. It's no ordinary weapon, is it? The technology of the Psycho Frame has been kept under lockdown by the Federation governor since the Laplace's box incident. But that machine uses the same technology and bleed in a restricted manner. 
I suppose there's no fooling the man who fielded the new Gundam. May I ask exactly what Louis and Co. and Michelle are trying to achieve with that Gundam? I'm sorry, but it's not for me to say. However, since you're looking after, Leo and Co. is prepared to provide the dry crews with support. Is this a bit of family business, Stephanie? Michelle and I might not be blood related, but she's still a Luyo, and I won't allow harm to come to the Luyo and Co. name. Luyo Woman. The heroine of the company personally entrusted me with it. My decision to support the dry crews is part of that. You may rest assured that this is a calculated business decision. I see. As for information on what you're looking into, Captain, I prefer to wait until you've taken an assignment from pilot first. Is this about the psycho frame again? Close, but not quite. The axis shock and the Laplace's box incident. It's more than enough of a shock to merit the Federation locking down the psycho frame. And now Luyo and Coast tamper with that taboo technology. What is Michelle Luyo thinking? I see you're getting the hand of the narrative's B packs. Then again, in a perfect world, you wouldn't have had the ha you wouldn't have had to pull off using it in gravity at all. You didn't go with Captain Bright. No point. We've got nothing to discuss there. I see. Good afternoon, Ensign Jonah. Uh, I guess it should be good evening. Oh, hey, Azuru. You've got a few. Could we talk for a bit? You want to talk to me? Yeah, I am. Um, hey, tell me if this is prying too much, but could you tell me what you think about when you're fighting? Aren't you a soldier? Soldiers think about the mission during combat, obviously. Yeah, I mean, of course, that figures. Okay, uh, next question. Why did you enlist? What's the point of asking? I don't see how it's any of your business anyway. Well, um... Michelle, it's fine. I'm sure Azura is just worried about me. What do you mean, worried? Not just me, it's Asagi and Kay and the others. They all say you're... dangerous. Dangerous? It's hard to describe, but it's like you're straining yourself. Like you fight... like a man with no time left. And, uh... I lost that rock, paper, scissors, so here I am asking for the group. Maybe I am. Jonah... Think... because I'm chasing something out of reach. Out of... what do you mean? Thanks, Azuru, I appreciate the concern. You can tell the others that, too. You really love dodging the subject, don't you? Oh, whatever you're carrying, it seems like it's pretty heavy baggage. What would you know? Hey, take it easy, would you? You know what they say about misery-loving company. Company? So I heard a little from Maeve up in the lab. You know, about the miracle children. Is this an enemy attack? Who would attack us out here? A return. At least you made it back in time for this, Captain. Yeah. Sophie Luo did never did tell us more about the pilot she's referring to us. Or about how he disappeared. We think sound, Bright never got the intel he was looking for. We can talk about it later. For now, let's deal with the hostiles. Unidentified units approaching. All units, prepare to intercept. Neo Zeon. Neo Zeon's primary operator, theater of operation of the atmosphere is North America. Captain, 
Strange, there's no EFF bases around here. I doubt they're here for us specifically. Then, their target is almost certainly Stephanie Luio. I'm doing this if you hadn't taken so much on yourself, Stephanie. All units, intercept Neo Zeon's forces and keep the enemy from advancing any further into this area. There's a good number of them, but they're just Neo Zeon remnants. They shouldn't be too hard to mop up. Oh, hello. I wouldn't say they're just Neo Zeon remnants. They're a little different. Seem a bit more dedicated than your normal Neo Zeon grunts. It's our objective take Stephanie Luio hostage and demand something? Captain, that fox Stephanie Luio. She must have anticipated what we planned and stationed the FF here. If she's resorting to such drastic measures, then the tip we got definitely checked out. All units, follow my lead. The moment we break past them will be the moment of Neil Zeon's restoration. Challenging one. Oh, this isn't going well already. Like the enemy spear has been channeled through this machine to me. This is fight spirit that mine is.
戦の許可は下りている距離を詰める Here comes a one shotter. Unit sighted approaching the area. It looks like a mobile suit. Enemy reinforcements? No, it's approaching from our rear. A golden mobile suit. Dang, that's sure some swag right there. It's coming from Saruga. Pick a color out. It stands out so much on the battlefield. Who's ever in that robot must be an exceptional pilot. Attention, dry crews. This is Lieutenant Quattro Bagina, formerly of the Egg. What? Who's that? Lieutenant Quattro of the Old Egg. That's Chara's novel. Ooh, pardon me. He's the former Supreme Commander of Neo Zeon. The guy who tried to drop Axis on Earth. He's alive? That's definitely Luyo's information will be about Muro, but if Muro's alive, it supposedly makes it he would be too. Char, you scumbag! You got a lot of nerve showing your face around us. Let's prioritize intercepting the Neo Zeon remnants for now. Intercepting? You'd fight soldiers that used to serve under you? Understood. You'll follow my orders, is that clear? Bright! We're in a battle here. Keep your priorities straight. Fine. Commander Mitsuba, I request that you abide by my decision, please. Understood. It's your call. Then. This is what I must do right now. What I can do right now, what I must do right now, is fight even if it means living on in shame. Right, right there, Char. Once I'm dumped these knuckleheads, you're next. You're not leaving here alive. I've got anything to say about it. Char, 
Why a man like you choose to live on shame and show yourself to us? What do you want to accomplish and are you going to use us to do it? ジオンは前の戦争から何も学んでないようだな。必殺。ブレスト。ファイヤー。ブレスト。ファイヤー。まだ戦闘は可能だ。最後まで戦い抜く。戦闘を開始する目の前の敵から叩くゴジェットだ伸びろスイッチの相手もなれたもんだおにいたシェ簡単には終わらんぞ目標を補足した目を覚ます接近を許したな見てるこっちがヒヤヒヤするぜ見てるだけじゃん戦いを望む者が言うのならそれと戦うしかない頼みますよキャリバーさん了解したアクセスコードグリットマンキャリバー俺を使えグリットマングリットマンキャリバー強化なおもちゃを叩き潰してやる。距離を詰める。
スーツだったらこれだブレッドファイヤー That's Chara's novel, The Red Comet of Zeon, the one you roar. If not for that war, Rita, Michelle, and I would all be.
ンダムの力か Enemy units neutralized, ma'am. All pots appear to have safely ejected from the destroyed machines. You better start talking, Char. Give me a moment, please. Char is novel. His arch nemesis is the Londo Bell is here. What the hell is this game? Didn't get away in time. You're Captain Char's novel. Right now I'm Quattro Bagina. Nothing more, nothing less. Actually, no, I take that back. Definitely less. I'm a horrible human being. Why are you doing this? We came to welcome you back into the fold, sir. You're the only one that can restore Zeon. Zeon already has a new leader. But go back and tell the rest of your team that Char's novel no longer exists. Tell them that the world doesn't want the Red Comet making a comeback. So if that's what you want, Captain. But I'd like you to remember something, sir. No matter how you see things, the Space Noids are waiting for the Red Comet's return. I'm sorry. So that's Char as novel. But he carries himself. He definitely gives the impression that he's not just another face in the crowd. I, I wonder what he's here to do. It's the guy, that's the person who tried to drop an asteroid on Earth. He doesn't seem like that sort of person at all, though. Kind of surprising, really. Don't let looks deceive you, Fu. It doesn't matter what his reasons were. What he tried to do was inexcusable. Could have just stayed dead, but no, you had to come wild, sink back out in the open. It's your excuse. Go on, say it. I'll hear you out as a last request. I don't have the right to make any. Oh yeah? And it's lights out time for you, buddy! If any idea how we feel, Char? Any idea how Amuro felt? Yes, we and Amuro fought you when you were the Red Con back in the One Year War. But over the course of the Grips War, Amuro tried to walk right alongside you. You let him down. You betrayed an enemy and became an... Betrayed him and became an enemy to us. To the whole world, even. Forcing an enemy in the space to save the Earth? Who the hell asked for that? You and your ego dragged the world into war. Now Amuro's... Amuro's... That's enough. Out of the way, Bright. This is for Amuro. Amuro's alive. Isn't that right, Char? Yes. Amuro's... What? Oh. Yes, of course! Char's alive, then Amuro has to be. Char, are you the pilot Stephanie Luyo wanted to introduce to us? Yes, I am. I'm going to be fighting as one of the dry crews. For what purpose? Even I can feel shame, you know. You think you can start atoning now? No, I probably don't have the right to. Fine. I owe Stephanie a lot, so I'll take you in. I expect the rest of you to do the same. This matter is not up for discussion. Hold a goddamn phone, Bright. I got a serious problem with this. Yeah, so do I. Living in Murrow or not, I'm not about to give this guy a free pass. I have a peace offering. What do you think could... The sh locations of Amuro and Camille. I'll share them both with you. You know where both of them are? I doubt they'll forgive me either. I'll have to press on anyway, so mankind can advance into its rightful future. Yeah, Gridman definitely... Pulled his weight in that one. Anyhow, that's all for this episode. If you've liked it, let me know by leaving a like, comment, subscribing, watching another video, all that good stuff. 
I will see you all next time.